So for this next step, what I'm going to do is use a 2x4 as sort of the top of the railing. And what this is going to do two things. One, it's going to kind of give a nice aesthetic end to the railing. And two, it's going to beef up our railing as well. So it's going to allow us to tie this into this. That's just going to give it more structure and more strength. And it should work out pretty well. And I'm going to attach this just using the same stainless screws that we're using for the decking. I'm going to run some screws down the length of the rail and then also into the 4x4 tops. Now for the corner cap connection, I decided on a half lap joint. And I have one end cut already here. The other board will be cut similarly to allow the boards to overlap each other. This connection will allow both railing caps to be anchored to the corner post and tie the railing cap boards together. Each board needs to have half of its thickness removed, the width of the board. So in this case, three quarters of an inch will be removed, three and a half inches from the end of the board. I carefully set the depth of my saw blade to reach three quarters of an inch. Then I use a speed square to line up the saw to carefully make my first cut along the mark edge for the space to be cut out. Then I move the saw slightly further to the edge of the board and made another cut. I continued to make several more cuts to the edge of the board. This made small wedges of wood that could be tapped out using a hammer. I then removed any rough edges remaining with a chisel and fine tuned with an even more delicate chisel. Now the goal here was to just get a relatively flat surface. It didn't have to be perfect considering this is a deck railing and not a high-end cabinet project. In any case, I finish up the joint edge with some sandpaper, which really smoothed things out. Now I could test fit the joint and it fit great. To secure the joint, I pre-drilled for four screws to minimize the chance for any wood splitting. I then installed three inch stainless steel decking screws and ended up with a nice looking structurally sound railing cap joint. In my opinion, this is a better option than simply miter cutting the boards for the corner joint. The half lap joint should hide the effects of wood shrinkage better. In any case, I hope you found this video insightful and please share your opinions and our preferred joint options when working with wood. Thanks for watching.